let's keep it going because this is fun uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take my first turn priority uh, no it's hand and then I'm going to keep this hand <laughs> oh ooh, I am not gonna keep this I mean I do like this hand I like this hand a lot but that is too many lands in it all right. Well, you take your London Mulligan now. Uh, I will. I'll, I mean, yeah, I'll I mean keep you this. take your. Ha I mean, you. I mean, you take your house Mulligan. Yeah, I'll keep this. And you're one. going to keep that. So there's no London Mulliganing happening for this matchup. Very cool. Which means that we had, with some degree of adequacy, set a good number of lands ratio with respect to the non-land cards in our decks. Let the third game begin. I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to tap that mountain. For the Gorilla Shaman. Alright then. And you said that my early game was good. Bleh. Gonna put down a forest and end. Oh, so you don't have a lot of good one drops. Whoop de doo. <laughs> you still crushed me last game. I'm gonna play another mountain. Pay two to cast the Pyre of Heroes. Okay then. You're not gonna swing with the gobl with the gorilla shaman. I, I am. I am gonna swing with the gorilla shaman. Sorry, I just uh, that that's that's probably my playtesting habit that got the best of me for a second. Okay, so gonna put down another forest and then spend two on assault formation. Okay, and I will end. All right, sweet, setting the stage for devastation. Let's put down an Evolving Wilds. And crack it for a swamp? I'm going to crack it for a um, forest. Okay. Crack it for the forest. Uh, combat, I'm going to swing at you with the Shaman. Okay. You take one damage. And then during my second main phase, I'm going to pay two. I'm going to sacrifice my Gorilla Shaman to the Pyre of Heroes. To get a two Search drop. my library. For a two drop, that two drop is going to be the Barbary Apes. Okay. A very it's a bears. old looking. Cool. <laughs> it is a, basically a bears. These guys are scary. Mm. Very scary. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna put down another forest, and then I'm gonna do something terrible, Mr. Cloud. Okay, what are you doing? I'm gonna spend three mana to cast a Steel Bane Hydra. Oh, so it only, oh. it's only a plus one, plus one. Yes. Oh, you're going to try to destroy my Pyre of Heroes. God damn it. I don't like it when people destroy my shit with effects. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that sucks. So that, that means I have only one turn, effectively, to use this well. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to swing at you for two. Okay, I'll take two. So you took two, okay. And then during me second main phase, I'm going to sacrifice my Barbary Apes. You guys following along? Every time I sacrifice a creature to the Pyre of Heroes, it gets a little more powerful each time. I'm going to put down a Simeon Simulacrum. Okay. When it ETBs, it gets two plus one plus one counters because it's going to target itself. Yep. And then I end my turn. All right, so I see then. you have a couple choices here, because I realize the Simeon Simulacrum yep. also is artifact type. Yes, it is. The thing is, I actually have... The thing is, is that if you take the plus one, plus one counter off of the Hydra, then it dies because of state-based action. Yes, and the thing is, I actually have the ability to play a different creature at the moment, and I think that's actually safer. So, I'm going to spend four... In order to cast a tide pool turtle. Mm. Nice. And with that, I will end. All right. So it's a so it's a toughness five creature while you're showing an assault formation. Nice. Do do and yank. Sweet. I got my secluded courtyard. Okay. I am going to declare apes. Ape. Okay. Um, what to do? What to do? Let's, uh, it might be, that honestly might be the move right there. Uh, because I'm still a couple turns away from that, although... Okay, okay I, I, I got I got the move. I'm going to pay two. 
to cast the Yavi Maya Steel Crusher. Okay. And then, because you're showing a Tide Pool Turtle right now, uh, I'm going to end my turn. You're not going to sack the Simeon Simulacrum to the Pyre of Heroes? No. Oh. No, I'm not going to do that. Not... Uh, that, that I'm just going to end my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, unfortunately, although I did get a land, it's it's my uh, non-basic, so... All right, I'm going to spend three and remove and remove the uh, uh, the 1-1 one, one counter from my Steelbane Hydra in order to uh, uh, kill the Pyre of Heroes. Well, I'm going to put the Pyre of Heroes on the stack. Yep. Pay two... Tap the Pyre of Heroes. Sacrifice the Yavi Maya Steel Crusher. No, for a three drop, okay. And that three drop is going to be another Simeon Simulacrum. Ooh, very nice. And when this and when uh, and now we got to resolve the rest of the stack. Well, this is a new Pyre stack, actually. So I could. Well, I mean, in, in any case, the Pyre of Heroes will be destroyed. It does not. It does not affect the other actions happening simultaneously. So I'm going to put another couple of plus one plus one counters on the first Simeon Simulacrum. Okay then. All right, I will end. I have held him off, <laughs> and you all are witnesses. <laughs> Behold the power of the gorilla. <laughs> oh, Mighty this is just keeps getting eight. better and better. I'm going to pay four to cast the Rhines of the Vine Steed. Okay. Who are you going to enchant? It's in it. I'm going to double down, and I'm going to attach it to my already wicked powerful Simeon Simulacra. No, which makes it a an eight. Uh, makes it's an eight seven. eight seven. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now on to business. I'm going to swing at you for eight. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to take eight. All right. The game's on the line here. What do you got? Uh, I think I have things, to be perfectly honest, but... Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure how effective those things are going to be. <sighs> hmm. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that that's that's only an attack trigger. Okay. Um I thought love was only true in fairy tales. Uh, bow, bow. Man, I, I am gonna spend five. You can have big creatures, yeah. I can also have big creatures, Mr. Cloud. Behold God the power of the it. octopus umbra. Woo Dear Lord. All right. With that, I think... Yeah, I'm going to end. You're going to have to, because if you attack me now, you lay down the life of your turtles. For the land play, I'll do the Savage Lands. For my spell play, I'll add a red to my mana pool with the Secluded Courtyard to cast the Curd Chieftain. Okay, then. No, which because is a Because I control four. a forest. It is now a 4-4 four, four creature. And now I'm going to swing at you for 10. All right. Uh, I'm going to have my Tide Pool Turtle block the Simeon Simulacrum. All right. You can do that. So we will go to the damage step now. The Simeon Simulacrum and the Tide Pool Turtle are both destroyed. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That is not, that is actually not correct. That's not correct. Bring back the turtle. All right. Oh, what's because up? your octop because your octopus umbra has totem armor. Right, so I can sacrifice my I can sacrifice my octopus umbra in order to prevent the uh, destruction of my tide pool turtle. That is correct. My simian sim simulacrum is still destroyed, but that's not all. Is the reins of the vine steed returns to the battlefield from the graveyard attached to a creature that shares a creature type with the simian simulacrum? Okay. 
I'm going to attach it to the Kurd Chieftain. Meaning that the Kurd Chieftain is now a 6-6. Six, six. Yep. And I'm going to end my turn. Okay. 